Hi, my name is Jeff Fretz. Welcome to Axree's News Broadcast. Here's the latest high-impact market news for the week ending on Friday the 22nd. While dollar boosted by the FOMC minutes last week, most major currencies are having their own problem. Sterling was the weakest one as pressured by the dovish BOE minutes, as well as persistent chatter on rating downgrade. Indeed, Moody's did downgrade UK's AAA debt rating to AA1 towards the end of the week, and that should extend the plunge in pound. Euro was weighed down by a couple of factors, including uncertainties over Italy's election, weak economic data, as well as disappointing LTRO repayment results. Also, one important thing to note is that the Japanese were firm as partly helped by crossing selling and yen crosses. More importantly, the failure to ride on G20 to extend its downtrend argues the yen has bottomed out, at least in the near term. As we mentioned, Moody's downgraded UK's debt rating from AAA to AA1 and changed the outlook to stable. Moody said that economic growth in UK will be subdued because of weak global activities, as well as drag from the ongoing domestic public and private sector deleveraging process. It noted that the period of sluggish growth poses challenges to the government's fiscal consolidation program, which we now assume will extend well into the next parliament. Also, the rising debt burden meant a deterioration in the shock absorption capacity of the government balance sheet, which is unlikely to reverse before 2016. Now, the most important upcoming fundamental news for the week starting Monday the 25th, selected for you according to market movement significance. On Wednesday, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke is to testify on monetary policy before the Senate Banking Committee for a second day in Washington, D.C. On Thursday, Eurozone is to release official data on consumer price inflation, which accounts for the majority of overall inflation. Later Thursday, the U.S. is to release revised data on fourth quarter economic growth. The U.S. is to round up the week with a report from the Institute of Supply Management on manufacturing activity. The Euro hit six weeks lows against the dollar on Friday after the European Central Bank said lenders would repay less than half of the expected amount in emergency loans, while uncertainty ahead of Italian elections also weighed. The ECB said banks are to pay back 61 billion euros of the funds they borrowed as part of the bank's second long-term refinancing operation one year ago, about half of what the market had expected. The announcement cast doubts over the health of the European banking sector and undermined investor confidence in the Eurozone. In the week ahead, testimony on monetary policy by Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke in Congress will be closely watched, while investors will also be awaiting political developments in Italy, data on economic growth from the U.S., and Eurozone inflation will also be in focus. The yen was lower against the dollar on Friday, as expectations for more aggressive monetary easing measures by the Bank of Japan continued to pin down the yen. Investors were awaiting news on nominees to replace outgoing Bank of Japan Governor Masaki Shirakawa, whose policies Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has criticized for not going far enough to combat deflation. The dollar found support after Wednesday's minutes of the Federal Reserve's most recent policy meeting indicated the bank may wind out its bond buying program sooner than expected. Today's multi-trader strategy is Secure FX, which is one of the average risk strategies. It made a 0.76% profit last week, and today we have chosen its monthly gains for the last three months to give you more insight into the performance characteristics of this strategy. During the last three months, the strategy achieved these gains, and the performance is stable and rising. The strategy gained 0.7% profit in December and continued with 1.53% in January and achieved 1.69% so far this month. All these strategies with information about performance and other characteristics can be found on our website. So that's it for today. Tune in to us next week for more in-depth currency news that matters to you. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Goodbye.